Okay, so let's talk about elements of an image that we find in a lot of images that really stand out that are aesthetically pleasing or that provide visual interest. So to start out with, let's look at line. Now line provides our eyes a place to go. So as you can see in this image here, these lines, both these horizontal and vertical lines, are providing us a place to go within the horizon and also as a vanishing point here. And this provides a lot of visual interest in the image. So combined together, these lines and then also this, these other kind of rounded lines here provide contrast and provide visual interest. So this is something that you want to strive for in your images as well. The next one here, we'll see curved lines. Curved lines provide a much different feeling to the image than straight lines do. And when we see them by themselves, they provide a lot softer feel. And you can see this is part of a woman's body here. This is the back of her neck and part of her back here. And this really high contrast here also provides more visual interest. Another thing that we'll notice here is that we're gonna see a lot of these elements more than one time in an image. We'll be seeing these elements multiple times in images, and that's why these images are very, very interesting. So this is a very high contrast or high value image as well, which we'll look at later on. It's also using the rule of thirds as well. Again, another one that we'll look on later. But let's keep with line right now. Again, a lot of lines going on here, a lot of curved lines give a very soft flowing feel to the image. And again, very high contrast, high value looking image here that provides a lot of visual interest. More line here. This image is all about line. And again, we have the contrast of a straight line here along with some curvy lines here that make the very seemingly simple image here have some really interesting qualities to it. Uh, here's some lines, some hard lines here. Now these hard lines here in and of themselves probably wouldn't be as interesting without the rounder curves of the models here as well. So these models juxtaposed to the really hard lines here provide a lot of interest, the visual interest from contrast. And contrast is what we try to really strive for that really makes for strong images here. One of my favorite photographers here, Ellen von Unworth, and again, a combination of both straight lines going up the stairs here, straight horizontal lines with curves here, and then the curves of the model as well. This image is all about line. And when we talk about these elements here, I think what we're really looking at is the main elements of the image. Sure, there's a lot of other stuff that's going on here, a lot of things that are in this image, but when we really see this image, this is what stands out about the image. This is the element that stands out the strongest here. Also again, curve lines, all line here. And these lines along with the lines of the model's body really make an interesting image. And then we have these straight horizontal lines here uh, from the horizon, from the water here that break it up and provide a little contrast. But again, this image is all about line. Now, let's look at something a little different, a little probably more sophisticated than line, and that is shape. So now we're seeing parts of an image just turning in, or the main element of the image as a shape itself. Notice a square here that's provided from the dress and the shape of the model's arm here, and her arms, and that combined give this shape here that provides a lot of visual interest here and makes for a very, very powerful image along with, again, the high value of the high contrast that is Lillian Bassman's trademark here. A lot of these images here come from books that I have, and if you ever want to look at the books and see the books, it's a way different experience than seeing them on screen here. Again, another Lillian Bassman here, and I want to point out, we're looking at shapes here, and we're looking at the predominant shapes here as triangles, and here's a triangle here, and then this triangle here is also repeated over here. So that really 
um, this incredible photographer here to actually get those elements in play like this. And those combined make for an incredibly balanced and beautiful image. Some more shape here. We're looking again at the way the body's making triangular shapes here. And it really makes the image appear much more than just the image of a woman and gives it a, a very artistic quality. Now we're looking at some rounder shapes here. Um, so we're looking at the round shapes here, the circles and the circle with their head being repeated and then combined with a big triangle here and another triangle up here. Some more rounder shapes again, um, round here, round here with the head and round earrings, round ears. If we break it down like this, we can see that a lot of these images are all shape and it provides um, a lot of visual interest. Our brains love it. Big circle, repeating shapes here. And this, because it's so blurry, all we see is shape here. We see this shapes here, these shapes here. Instead of a body, we see more of shape represented here. Repeating shapes here. We got a lot of triangles going on here. For something as seemingly simple as these toy boats, it's a very, very interesting image. Repeated circles here juxtaposed with hard lines here so providing line and shape here again another seemingly very simple image combined again with some branches here that provide some organic shapes as well and it makes it a very very interesting image more shape here round shapes the human body is a fantastic roadmap for shapes and lines and provides us a lot of interesting composition. I highly recommend that you uh, study the human body a lot. If you're going to be a photographer, you're going to be a designer. Again, changing the body into just shape along with just a bar stool here and uh, really shapely shoes. An out of focus dog. Just like with humans, just like with people, animals is, provide some very interesting compositions. And here we see, at first, all we see is shape. We see the circle here, we see the fan blades, and then we see the guy's head here, and his head just looks like another fan blade. Again, all shape developed here. Again, the shape of the window, the shape of the arm here. shape of the window of this car and this is really an interesting image here this tattooed guy here but with his head bent down it's hard to tell what it is and it it really really epitomizes the use of shape as an element okay now let's go to repetition here Repetition we've seen in several of these images already. Again, we're going to see multiple elements here because these are the elements that make most images interesting. So most photographers will use them in their images, at least the good ones, the, the great photographers do. And we'll see these, these elements used over and over again. We see a cross here and we see his body. Steven Tyler's body is a cross as well repetition. Uh, it's pretty obvious here. Repeated bald heads here, repeated shapes. Repeated elements here along with um, the repeat repeating um, light spots here as well. Repeating reflections as well. Okay, this is also contrast. This as well as repetition, so we got a light one and a dark one here, kind of a yin yang kind of effect. The balls here, repetition, also we're seeing shape and line here, and the contrast between rounded and, 
and sharp lines here, or straight lines, provide a lot of visual interest. These repetitive elements here with the dried flowers. Uh, repeating stars here, very similar to the circular one that we saw before. I love this image here. All the spiked heels on this guy here. It's a great image. Not only that, but we see these lines here that are repeating. We see um, the the tiles as well that provide that texture on the floor. All the different faces here repeating. Now we're going to look at texture. So you can see what really stands out in this image is the texture of the hair of this guy's chest. And he's got uh, some beard growth there as well. That, And then the ash of the cigarette. And that contrasted with the very smooth texture of his glasses provides a lot of visual interest. More texture here in the hand, texture on the wall, and again contrasting with the smooth texture of the ring here. A lot of texture here on John Goodman's face. Um, and then his hands are smoother. Okay, another contrast of the doll here. Very textured material here with the very smooth wood material here. And the texture of her skin here. Smooth texture of her skin there. And this is also a, a good example of value. So we got a high value here and a dark value over here. Now the rule of thirds Let's look at the rule of thirds. So when we look at the rule of thirds here, what we want to do is break up our image into thirds both horizontally and vertically. And the third area is the, where we want to put our subject, if we're using the rule of thirds, is within the intersections of the lines that we create to divide it up into thirds. And as you can see here, that's exactly where this subject is. So he's on this line here, or it would be interesting to put it here, or here, or here. So let's see what happens when we look at some other images. Okay, here's another one. We can see his hat here is on this line here, much like the other one was. So cut up in the third there. I'm not going to put the grid on anymore. So you're going to have to imagine this line down here again. So Johnny Depp in the third here. Al Pacino here. And this image that we saw at the beginning. Remember I said these were going to have multiple. This guy here. Rule of thirds and also up here. And then we have two parts or subjects of the image that are in the third areas. I love this one here, down here. This is a very unusual composition. It's very strong, works very, very well. Very powerful. Now let's look at color. So when we look at color as a main element of an image, the thing that stands out in the image, if we use color, it provides a very powerful powerful tool and provides a lot of powerful um, elements in the image. So we can see here this color here would make an otherwise kind of bland image really stand out here. This is all about color here. So again, you know, maybe just not so great an image, add some really powerful color to it and it really stands out. Same with this image here see this used a lot, black and white with the splash of color on it. Provides a lot of visual interest. Again, this is all about color. Monochrome, red, 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 red here. Now value, we talked about this before, which is high contrast, so a lot of light and dark values in an image, almost no midtones at all. Provides a lot of visual interest, you can see here. 
Not only that, but you see a lot of shape here. This is all about value in this image. It's just value and texture in here. So lightness and darkness values here. And Lillian Bassman is all about value, high contrast value. Virtually no mid, mid tones in here at all. And again, all about line and shape. So there you have it. Rules of composition, guidelines for composition. These guidelines, these rules make all images very powerful. And I think you really need to learn the rules before you learn how to break the rules. And once you start using these rules, you'll find that you'll be using them subconsciously and it'll just come natural to you. So what I want you to do for the assignment part of this lecture is I want you to go and shoot three different rules. So I want you to shoot three images using the rule of thirds, three images using value, or three images using color, or three images using line, or three images using shape. Or if you don't have a digital camera, search the internet, find them on the internet. Okay, so this is going to make you look, and this is going to make you aware, and, and keep looking at these rules of composition, and eventually they're going to get ingrained in your head.